so let's go ahead and unlock the doors using John, Ada, and Cell. It's I think it says somewhere that how to do that puzzle, but I didn't. I guess I didn't read it. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't think I did. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, let's see if we got anything over here. Part of a corpse lies on the operating table. Okay, no. Here's the computer. V Act researchers note: There's no evidence. <laughs> that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutates into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. As transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it. Turning this place into an instant bloodbath, ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call it kind crimson heads that dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there we have to figure out a way to deal with it termination is definitely not an option we finally decided to freeze the specimen and combine it to a body inside confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery which is the one that was in that um casket log in john password Ada. Access verified. Basement second floor. Password cell. Verified. Permission granted. Unlocked. All right. Basement third floor unlocked. All right, that's all we need to do here. And there might be something in here with these cadavers. There is. It's oh, another flash grenade. Sweet. And I'll try to remember to show you guys with this self-defense gun. Actually, I'm going to equip it right now. and see if uh, I can get it to work. It's a 357 Magnum. Round, I think. Right? No, it's a 22 Magnum, my bad. Still, it's a pretty powerful round. Even though it's a small caliber, it's still, it's got a lot of force behind it. It's a lot of grains of uh, powder, I guess. I'm not sure what classifies a round to be a magnum round. But it's it's powerful, I know that. I'll show you what it does right now. Damn it! If I'm not a fucking idiot and get attacked. I'm so stupid. Get up, guy. Uh, that was dumb. Now I'm gonna have to burn him, motherfucker. Magnum rounds, slide filter, x ray photography. Skeleton structure's plate isn't quite human. Nothing else back here? Effects. Sanitation division, manager of sanitation, raccoon disaster contingency committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the name addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax with, by third party is strictly to hip. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking idiot. To any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern more than half of the researchers have been affected by the T virus and died. It has also been reported that as almost all the survivors of the accident are starting to show symptoms of the T virus infection. Second concern our secondary security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most rec uh, secret research is, danger is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there's high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore our success. The success, our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent 
or research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police of S and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Alright, what we got here? Security system passcode transmission device. If I had an MO disk, you could trans blah, blah, transmit the passcode to the system. We do have an MO disk, so let's go ahead and use it. Insert the GameCube disk into the GameCube. Transmission seems to unlock something. Yeah, it unlocks one of the locks on the locks. <laughs> seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. Yep. Check it out. Warning. Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. What do we got? It looks like a refueling device. Okay, we don't got anything. It just shows that there's a real refueling device there. Man, that's some bullshit. That fucking self-defense gun didn't do shit. It's supposed to... It, it's got a high chance of blowing their heads off is what it is. And it killed... I mean, it did do something. It killed him in one hit, which is good, but... It's still... It didn't blow us that off, so now I'm gonna have to burn him. That's okay. I needed to come up here anyway. And it's about time to get rid of the pistol. So, it, it, it's not a bad, big deal. Although it is because I have to bring that fucking fuel canteen back. But then again, that's not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. Oh, it's not a big deal. But yeah, it's a big deal. But oh, no, it's not a big deal. Whatever. Let's go ahead and um, trade this for the shotgun. Trade this for the shotgun shells. Keep the uh, slide filter, and we'll combine these, and grab something to heal with. No. Also, put the pistol up. And we kind of need to switch. We don't need to, but we'll go ahead and switch back to the daggers. And we'll check out this room, basement two room that we unlocked. <clears throat> See what's in here. Make sure. See, we got a first aid spray. We don't need that. Got another Emotis. Nice. Which I needed that. I'm glad I picked that up just now. Passcode entry terminal. Use it? Sure. Well, we don't know the passcode though, so I guess we're not using it. Anyway, we got a thing here. Film has been set into place. View it? No. First, we want to add the slide filter. It makes it red and it reveals a code. M39, the Cerebus. That's the dog. Neptune is the big shark. Hunters, we know them. And we got Tyrant. We've never seen a Tyrant before. Hmm. Looks scary. Bioorganic the Organic Re Weapons Research Group. Development staff. 8462. That's a six, right? 8462. If you don't put the slide in, it just looks like a regular barcode. Tons of numbers on it. And we'll go ahead and put in that code. Eight. Four, six, damn it, I didn't put three, six, two. Damn it, no! Such, what the fuck? There we go. And it unlocked a secret passage. <clears throat> Where we have a laboratory key. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. Well, let's do it. Let's view Kenneth's film. That sucks for him. <clears throat> uh, I guess I'll grab this. 
Oh yeah, there's no rating system, so I don't know why I tend to use the herbs and save the aid sprays. I just feels like I should should do that. Oh fuck, man! I gotta burn that guy. Forgot about that. We definitely need to do that before he becomes a crimson head, because I don't feel like fucking with a crimson head. They're not as bad as I've made them out to be this whole series. But, last series, more so, but yeah. So we can go trade this for the um thing. Where's it at? Where the fuck is it at, man? Fuel canteen. I'm so blind. Just went past it like twice. <clears throat> yeah, that's main priority is burn that guy. Because we do have to go back in there. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. We got to burn him. Definitely. We don't have to, but we we definitely need to kill the Crimson Head if he does come up before we burn him. We need to kill that thing sooner than later for a certain reason that you'll find out later. Hopefully it's not alive yet. What? The fucking thing disappeared. Are you fucking shitting me? Well, that was a fucking waste of time. Waste of fucking grabbing a fuel canteen. Waste of space. Oh well. Sorry. Now we know that we don't have to do that. We didn't have to do that, I mean. Whatever. Guess it's time to go in here then. Use the lap key. And we'll go in here and check out something new. hear it right there making creepy bug noises it's a new enemy oh something to grab I'll take some shotgun shells fuck yeah we can climb through a vent here and check out our new enemy if it's in here there it is Fuck, I wasted a shell. Oh well. That is the Chimera. It, the operating table is covered in blood. The blood doesn't look like it came from the surgery, though. It is a, um... A bug infected by the T-Virus. Like a fly. And it's very fast and strong and shit. And it's does pretty good damage. So watch out for those. Climb through another vent, enabling us to come over here, and what do we got here? Another flash grenade, and another GameCube. Let's go ahead and put the MO disc in, transmit that code, unlock the lock on the lock. Shelf is full of various antitoxins. And this, we can push this to make us a shortcut back out of here. Because this is just the uh, other side of that room that we were just in. The, um, yeah. Jump down, guy. It's rusted shut and won't budge. Oh, are you serious? So I didn't need to do that at all. Uh, well, that's stupid. Oh well. And this is blocked. Great. No, it ain't. Good, cause that would have fucking that would have sucked. That would have sucked really bad. Use 
the lab key, discard that, go through here, and check shit out. First thing I'm gonna do is go straight ahead into this save room and make a save, because it's been a minute. Get rid of this, because that was a big fucking waste of uh, space. Grabbing that for nothing. Yeah, I guess. 